Hello everybody, E here. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. This one I read ages ago. I'm just get, now getting around to reviewing it because I don't really want to talk about it, but we're going to try. Um, the next three Connolly reviews, unfortunately, are going to be less than positive, but today we're talking about The Reapers by John Connolly. I was looking forward to this book because it is uh, strictly from the point of view of Angel and Lewis. You find out all their backstory, and that stuff is fantastic. Um, everything that you learn about Angel and Lewis and all their interactions, fantastic, as always. The problem here is the lack of Charlie. Um, and a lack of a good plot, I think. This is my opinion. Um, I never realized how much I enjoyed Charlie Parker as a character. I always thought I liked Lewis and Angel more. Or Louie, depending on... If you listen to the audiobooks, some of the audiobooks call him Louie. In fact, I think in this one or the next one... The audiobook literally says it's Louis, as in like the New Orleans pronunciation or the French pronunciation, and not Louis, like the uh, American pronunciation. Um, and then they change that. The very next uh, book is narrated by the same person, and he's calling him Louis throughout. Whatever, man. Um, but this one, I, I, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't remember a thing about the plot. I don't remember anything about what happened it is a strictly P.I. kind of investigation thing. It's a revenge story, all that stuff. And it, it's it's fine. I get, I'm giving it three stars. But the, the standout here, again, is Louis and Louis, whatever, and Angel. There's a significant lack of Charlie Parker, and I didn't realize that that was going to be an issue until I finally read the book. And I was disappointed in that aspect of it. Also, by this point in the series, I think this is book seven, by this point in the series, everything's just kind of starting to blur together. The The plots are not convoluted. They're a bit basic, especially this one. Um, I'm looking forward to getting back into the supernatural aspect of everything. Since reading this one, I have also read these. Uh, the, the Lovers, The Whisperers, and The Burning Soul. I've read the next three books after this one. Um, and they're all about the same for me, but supposedly the book... Book 11, um, The Wrath of Angels, is supposed to go back heavy into the supernatural, which I just cannot wait. Because that's my favorite part of these books, that they're not just your average thrillers. Um, they're a lot of fun with the supernatural stuff, and I dug that. With this one, man, I, I just I didn't dig it at all as far as the plot's concerned. Um, again, the characters are fantastic. Character work is great. I loved hearing all of the origin stories for the many different characters. The origin of the, uh, the ch not chop shop, the uh, the auto repair shop, or is it body repair? I can't remember. Um, all that stuff. And there's fantastic character work in here. I just didn't care about what was going on, and I found myself losing interest every single time they went back to the plot. So, I'd love to hear what you guys think, especially if you're a Charlie Parker fan, how you feel about the Reapers. If you loved it, let me know why, especially if you loved it, because I just didn't. Um, if you didn't like it, let me know all that stuff down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!